hello everyone so in this video i will discuss about stem cells so without any delay let's start the video so first of all that what i will discuss in this video so in this video i will discuss about that what are stem cells then the types of stem cells their sources that means from where you can get the stem cells then the various properties of stem cells and finally the applications of stem cells so first what are stem cells so stem cells are undifferentiated cells but they have the power to change into various types of cells means stem cells are themselves as undifferentiated but they have power to change into various types of cells and these stem cells they are capable of self renewal means they can maintain their population by self dividing and they can also differentiate into any kind of cell and they are very much essential for the growth repair and regeneration so these stem cells are undifferentiated cells present in an individual and they have capacity to change into any kind of cells now the types of stem cells so stem cells are of following types like first is embryonic stem cells so these stem cells are present in the embryo you can get them from the blastocyst stage of embryo and these stem cells are pluripotent means they can change into any cell type they can become any cell so they are pluripotent second type of cells that is stem cell they include adult stem cells so these are found in like bone marrow adipose tissue etc these are not pluripotent but these are multipotent what it means these are multipotent means they can change into some specific cell lineages they cannot change into any kind of cell but they can change into some limited specific lineages like for example they can either change into hematopoietic cells or you can say the blood cells but they cannot be changed into any kind of cell so these are adult stem cells means these are multipotent then induced pluripotent stem cells so when you just reprogram the adult cells to act like the embryonic stem cell these are called as induced pluripotent stem cells and these are very much you can say ethical alternative to use embryonic stem cell because in the embryonic stem cells there are certain ethical issues so you can just avoid these ethical issues by inducing adult stem cells to be changed into embryonic stem cell or just to be behave like embryonic stem cells now the source is from where you can get the stem cells for your research then the stem cells you can get from embryos as i told embryonic stem cells so you can get from the blastocyst stage of embryos then you can get the stem cell that is adult stem cell from the adult tissues like from bone marrow adipose tissue etc so in the adult tissue you will get the adult stem cells then umbilical cord work is also co uh, contain stem cells and amniotic fluid yeah definitely amniotic fluid is also rich in the stem cells and finally the genetically programmed cells as i told induced pluripotent stem cell means you can genetically reprogram the cells to become stem cells now the properties of stem cells so properties are concerned so first they are self renewal as i told they have capacity to divide they can maintain their population so they can produce more stem cell means if one stem cell is there so it can divide and produce many stem cells so it means they can self maintain their population means they are self renewal second property that is potency means they can change into other cells so as the potency is concerned so we have three different potencies that is first is the totipotency so here the stem cell they can change into any type of stem cells like as in the case of embryonic stem cells then multipotent stem cells so here they cannot be changed into any kind of cell but they can develop or change into some limited range of cells and third one is that is unipotent so they can produce or they can develop into only one single cell type but they also have the property of cell renewal so on the basis of potency stem cells can be totipotent multipotent and unipotent then the next property is plasticity what it means that these adult cells they can cross the lineage boundaries and they can 
also differentiated into unrelated cell types means it is not hard and fast that one specific stem cell will uh, change into a specific adult cell they can sometime also cross their these boundaries and can differentiate into unrelated cells also this property is called as plasticity now the applications of stem cells means where you can use this stem cell so first application is a regenerative medicine means here if you if you want to repair any tissue or organ so in that case you can take stem cells because as you know stem cells can be changed into any kind of cell species the embryonic stem cell so these stem cells can be utilized to repair any damaged tissue or organ then second application include bone marrow transplantation so yes we can also use the stem cells for in case of the we need the bone marrow transplantation then treatment of blood disorder yeah definitely if many blood disorders they can be treated by taking the use of these stem cells because these stem cells they can control the population of uh, blood cells then these stem cells they also have potential to cure many diseases like parkinson's and diabetes in which some specific cells they get degenerated so by using stem cells we can regenerate these types of cells then drug testing and development so definitely these stem cells they can also be utilized in the research where we can test the various drugs means if we want to check the effect of particular drug on the cells then we can make use the uh, make use of the stem cell so these are certain applications of stem cells so this is all about the stem cells guys hope you like the video see you in the next video thank you very much